Thank you very much, Aaron Moriarty. Protests intensified last night outside of a Sacramento Kings basketball game after body cam video was released showing two officers fatally shooting an unarmed black man. The officers thought 22 year old Stephon Clark had a gun, but later discovered he was only holding a cell phone. Protesters shouted Black Lives Matter and demanded justice for Clark. We stand here before you, old, young, black, white, brown, and we are all united in our commitment. The crowd inside Sacramento's Golden One Center Arena last night was thin, but the message from Sacramento Kings owner we Vivek Ranadive was full of resolve. Decision. We're going to work really hard to prevent this kind of a tragedy from happening again. Ranadive was compelled to speak by hundreds of protesters who were blocking thousands of ticket holders from getting inside the arena. The outrage is over the death of 22-year-old father of two and Sacramento resident Stephon Clark. Clark was killed last Sunday when officers who were pursuing him on foot for suspected vandalism mistook his cell phone for a gun and began shooting at him. They unloaded at least 20 rounds from their weapons, but they later learned Clark was unarmed. It's a phone, not a gun! It's a phone, not a gun! Earlier yesterday, Sacramento's Black Lives Matter group called on supporters to take their outrage to the streets. I'm going to take this fight! They ended at the Golden One Center Arena, where their motive was clear. We're disrupting. We're making everybody uncomfortable. Being black in Sacramento in America is uncomfortable. So today, we're going to make people feel how we feel, uncomfortable. Sacramento police say they will continue to be transparent and work with the community directly to investigate the shooting. And of course, uh, the people who organized the protest say they are not stopping. We'll probably be hearing from them again. The details of the story are absolutely shocking when you learn them, that he was in his grandparents' backyard, that yeah. he had a phone. And the, one of the reports that I read said that, according to the officers, that he turned and approached them, yeah. holding something in front of them. But what person? I mean, I'm just trying to think of this as a human being. Right. You know that you're surrounded by police officers. They all have guns. Who's going to turn around with a cell phone and approach a police right. officer? Yeah, well, you know, there's, it raises a lot of questions. You saw the body cam video. It doesn't reveal really a lot from what we can see. Um, but, yeah, it raises a lot of questions about training and just how police respond to these sort of things. And hopefully, if the Sacramento police say they're going to be transparent, then we'll get some of those questions answered. Thank you for